To make that 445. Oh, Mr. Casement, please. I've got to make that. You can't knock me out like that. But haven't we met before? Well, your manner is certainly familiar. Anyway, we read the same book. Have you read the one about the little girl and the red ant? No. Very funny. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> oh. Traveling alone? Apparently not. Going very far? No, but don't you think you are? I'm very sorry. I've forgotten that we haven't met. Big Fox. Fletcher tells me. On my way to South America. How interesting. You said your name was, uh, Mr. Dale? Bad news? For you, yes. Why, I, uh... If you speak to me again, I'll complain to the conductor and have you put off the train. I don't care to listen to any explanation. I'm awful sorry, but you don't understand that there's a mistake somewhere. Four forty-five. Both are four forty-five and left are four forty-five. Left. I've got a high-powered car. I can overtake the trailer more than... Good, you're on.
or whether the young lady wishes some sugar. Compartment B? Yes, sir. No quarter. We'll have dinner served here. The lady is an invalid. Yes, sir. Another ride like that, and I will be an invalid. Please. Uh, a nervous attack. Uh, leaves her rather weak at times. We're taking her to a rescue at Hainsville. I see. We get there tomorrow noon. Get the flag out. I'll let you know, friend. All right, thank you, Conductor. I was a sap to let you talk me into this outfit. Why don't you put him on Schultz instead? <laughs> I haven't got your girly figure. And that skin you love to touch. You mean I'm a pansy? Well, not exactly. Right now you smell more like Jupiter berries. Oh, cut the comedy, boys. We've got work to do. Young lady, she's walking on my hat. <coughs> now, that means lots of money. Eh? What's that? I said, well, lots of money. Oh, my dear, I thought you said money. I can help it. I'm just a bad boy. I'm good people. If you could possibly be serious for a moment, you might learn something to your advantage. I'm sorry. That's a sign. A bad influence. I'm sure you wouldn't be connected with the affair if you fully understood it. You are at present engaged in a scheme to obtain money that doesn't belong to you. You need a woman's signature on a certain piece of paper. But you're not going to get it. No? Well, doesn't say why. Well, there's the money. And there's a girl. She's a blonde. And I see a telegram. That's right. No, it's wrong. I see only chains, bars, gray walls. Prison. Prison? Well, it's getting late. I must be going. May I see you home? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I'd ask you to come in, but it's too late. Papa would be wild. Are the folks all in bed? No. Mama worries so. She always sits up for me. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. Well, what did your father say? He told me I shouldn't speak to strangers. 
Well, I'm glad we're friends. <laughs> They're still out there. We've got to take care of that fellow. And we've got just 30 minutes to do it. I read where a guy fell off the train. Uh, there's a cleverer way than that. Where would he get in this afternoon? I have some packing to do. But I won't see you anymore. It's been an interesting experience. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. And then I see you off the train. It's even sticky. I'll be met at the train. If anyone recognizes you, well, you know the consequences. What? What do you mean? Oh, let's quit kidding each other. You know who I am, and I know why you're on this train. You're very likable. I'm sorry to see you mixed up in such a scene. Jeopardizing your liberties. Well, perhaps risking your neck. Remember, I warned you. Young lady, you want to object to these hitlings? That isn't true. I can prove it by the lady. I saw the whole thing, conductor. He's been making a nuisance of himself ever since I came on the train. This gentleman here spoke to him, and then he knocked him down. That isn't true. I saw you hit him. Say, you can't get away with that on this train. I've had my eye on you for some time, and you've got to get off. What? Take this gentleman's thing. Conductor, he tripped me right here. You've got to leave the train. Just a minute. I can tell you all about it. You can't tell me anything. Get off this car. You have no right to take me off. Yeah. Hey, officer, see that this man doesn't get back on the train. What's the trouble? Annoying women. Okay. Come on, brother, and sit down. Be a good oh, boy. Oh, it's all a mistake. I didn't start that fight. Come on and sit down. He knows it, too. Sit down there and behave yourself. We've got to get that girl. She's in danger. Not as long as you're here. You better get women off your mind, son. You got off lucky that time. Oh, you don't understand. I just found that telegram. I have to catch that train. You'll wait here for the next one and like it. But look here.
Going to the next stop. All right, thank you. Is the lady any better? She's bad. That was a close one. Too close. Hey, you! They've got her! They've got her! Yes, and I've got you. Here, eat that! There are the men that framed me and had you put me off the train. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, what the hell? me you wouldn't take any more of it. You know what this devilish stuff does to you. Devilish, perhaps, but the greatest achievement of a Dr. Sandro. Mad Sandro. <laughs> to me. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell all I know. You're not a doctor. You're a devil. 
I'm going to tell the police. No, you won't. You won't tell because life is too sweet. Because you love that precious lily white neck of yours. As a helpmate, you are very efficient, my dear. But as a wife, you do not interest me. What time were you using to get? They should be here now. I've told you not to come upstairs. Go down to your room. John, before you go to bed, be sure to turn the dogs loose in the yard. Another one of Dr. Sandro's great achievements. He's getting worse every day. I didn't know then what I know now. Mistake will happen. Remember that when you walk up those last 13 steps. That is a scene you will not have the pleasure of witnessing, my dear. Ladies, first. Here they are now. Sandro's place, huh? Mad Zondo, say, you didn't tell me you was going to bring the girl here. You promised me nothing was going to happen to her. Nothing is going to happen to her if she behaves herself. You know yourself uh, what's going on here. Now, see here, Schultz, don't let yourself get excited. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah, but I don't like it. Well, bring her along. I'm the plumber. I'm here to fix up your heat. Well, you cannot do it now. Some other time. I will call you. I gotta do it tonight. I'm going on a contract job tomorrow. Well, you cannot do it. You gotta pay for my time anyway. I will call you when I need you. And I will pay you when the job is done. Yeah? Well, I'm here to fix up your heat. Hey! You the gardener? The hot face guy said you let me in the basement to fix up the heat.
Now, don't get excited. You're safe here. Who are you? Where am I? Now, 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 don't be frightened. We're just here to talk over a little matter of business. Business? Yes. You're on your way to claim some money. You stand between me and that fortune. You are not going to get it. I'm not? No. Here's a paper already prepared. You're either going to sign this or... Uh, or what? Or you will pay an extended visit here until you lose the money by default. You mean you keep me prisoner? Smart girl. When you do release me, you'll all be sent to prison. We have other plans. We're going to spend the winter in the south. And you won't even remember the road to our, uh, uh, what shall I call it? Our sanitarium? Gentlemen, you are a good amateur. You better brush up on your psychology. We're not asking your advice, Doctor. Remember, I have an interest of my own to protect. You're getting us kind of uh, used to this place. We don't need you to butt in. Very well. Now, stay here, young lady. You sign that on the dotted line, and you'll save us all a lot of trouble. Take it over. an opportunity to let pass. What a splendid subject for mental experiment. Blonde, high bone, high forehead, intelligence. A wonderful subject. How this is. Then it's fine. Splendid. Just the thing. Okay. Don't use that word. Say, all right, or very well. Okay. Well, may I use your telephone? Oh. I'm sorry, but it's out of order. Do you know where I could get one? It's very important. You might try at the next house. It's a mile and a half down the road. This one? No, there are no more houses that way. A mile and a half the other way. It's a long way down. You don't think that yours uh, probably will be working by now? I'm afraid not. It's been out of order all day. I have to get a telephone somehow. Couldn't you just try and, and see if it works? I've just been trying. All right, thank you very kindly. You're welcome. Well, that was quick thinking. You were certain to get rid of him in a hurry. Rather easy to look at, don't you think? I can hardly agree to that. Get him quick. Don't let him get away.
Here, Max. 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 Say, what's your racket? I'm plumber. I'm here to fix the heat. What's yours? Aren't you working kind of late? <laughs> Don't make no difference. I'm on overtime. Have you seen anything funny going on around here? Sure. But I won't say nothing. Hey, let's... There may be some trouble here. Can I count on you for a hand? Sure, if it don't in interfere with my work. All right. When I need you, I'll rap on a radiator three times. Swell. And if I need a lift, I'll give you a ring, too, huh? Okay. Remember on the train? Well, I can't open the door. It's locked on that side. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. They had me scared to death here. I don't blame you. This is no place for us. I'm awfully sorry about the way I acted on the train. You see, I didn't know. I, know. I thought you were... That's all right. Come now, we got to get out of here. No, not that way. There's a ladder down there. I'll get it. They will be up here in a moment. I can save you from them. Please.
chair. Yes. You're fools, all of you. You must know that even now the entire state is being searched for me. Sooner or later you'll have to release me, then every one of you will hang. <laughs> oh, no. Have you heard of Aphasia? Perhaps you will not remember too well. I'll remember you. Those eyes. <laughs> For instance, if I were to tell you that my name is Dr. Sandro Tito, and ask you immediately to repeat it. Yes, I... I... Where's the girl? She's in the room. I don't think so. Where was she when you saw her last? She was in the room the last time I saw her, but I don't think she's there now. Well, we'd better find out. She is. He's got her. That's just what I was afraid of. Now, don't worry. Sandro's not going to cross us up. No, he's for himself all the time. We got to get out while we can. Him and his crazy experiments. Why, he's taking the play right out of our hands. Sandro! Sandro! Schultz here wants to quit unless you leave the girl alone. You got the girl in there? When you are in my house, you do as I say. Say what I tell you. Say, listen, you ain't scaring me any. I got enough on you to stretch your neck. When we brought the girl here, we intended to handle this in our own way without any interference from you. I didn't want you to bring her in the back. That's enough. Way. terms of our agreement were, and I want you to live up to them. All right. You can let this nut get you in a jam if you want to, but I'm quitting. No, you will not. He will not talk. you. Never mind. You're in a tough spot. But if you listen, I can help you. What do you mean? When Sandro sends them up to this room, they seldom leave alive. Don't be a fool. 
If you'll say the word, I'll set you free. Then, uh, you and I will leave together. Are you with me? Of course, we won't talk. But how about that fellow in there? We will look after him right now. There is an easier way of taking care of him. Medra, the gut formula. Where's the driver of the car in front? Car? Is the man of the house in? Well, this is a private sanitarium. Would you like to speak to the doctor in charge? He'll do. Very well. They want to see you. Madam. Did you want to see me? We found a stolen car out front here. Do you know anything about the man that left it? A stolen car? That is strange. It is a private sanitarium. Very seldom people come away up here. Then I'll talk. Now you're being sensible. You will be on our way, but they'll never find us. Don't worry. We'll get him. Sorry to have bothered you. No trouble at all. Sorry only I couldn't give you money. Work from the That's nothing, gentlemen. Just a patient. We've had trouble with him before. Better have a look. Here. Oh, it's you, is it? This is our man. There's a girl imprisoned here. Don't try that stuff with us. Come on. But I'm telling you, she's been kidnapped. And I'm telling you, you're arrested. Come well, on now. You can't arrest me. But officer, he's a patient here. He beat her out of his mind at the time. 
But we can end him, all right. I'm sorry, but we got to take him. This is the man who stole that car out there. He took his motorcycle. <laughs> he had a very bad Spanish morning. He ran away for a while, but... You... Don't believe him. I followed the girl here, and he captured me. Please, please. I'll show you where they're keeping her. Right in that room. I tell you, officers, he suffered from hallucinations. Take a look while we're here. Wait. She's gone. Who broke the door? I did. Better come along. Oh, wait a minute. You can't take me now. She wasn't at home. I know she wasn't in there. Oh, there's nothing. I'm telling you, she was there, but they moved her. That's enough from you. I told you. He was not born yesterday. The best thing to do is to leave him here in our care. He's guilty of a felony, and we've got to take him. But, officer, settle that in court. But please, please, there's a girl being held upstairs. Come on, Napoleon. No, you don't know what you're doing. The girl is in danger. Oh, officer, let me do this. Well, that's that. Yeah, that's just the beginning. It's only a matter of time till those cops hear his whole story and come back here. We've got to get rid of that girl immediately to save ourselves. No. Oh, she'll back up his story and then... Don't the... worry about the girl. She doesn't remember a thing. I've seen to that. Oh, what are you given? Don't you believe me? Come upstairs. Mademoiselle, tell the gentleman my name. You call yourself Dr. Sandra Tito. I know who you are and why I was brought here. You were right.
How did I miss you? And then what are you going to do? Why, settle down on the estate and become a nice old lady, I guess. I have a better idea than that. Yes? Listen. Are you sure? Dima Cap marries just the same as any minister can. Oh. <laughs> 